I've been trying to tell this story and I keep retelling it and I get like more sad every time. So this is another one of my hospice stories. Ugh, I avoid talking about it because it makes my stomach hurt because it is a sad story and I don't want to act like I'm this like amazing hero nurse. But sometimes you do have to scream and yell to get what you need if your supervisors aren't listening to you. So it was a man in his late 50s or early 60s. He was dying of ALS. His young daughter in her early 20s was taking care of them, him. And it was only those two. There was no other people in the family. So she was the sole provider. And um, he did not, a lot of times people with ALS can learn how to speak with their eyes using this, using this board, this computer. And he never did. So he could not communicate what he needed. He was fully alert and oriented up here. But he could not swallow. He was starting not to be able to breathe. And it was very difficult. I can still vividly remember her and him and what their house looked like and going there day after day after day trying to help him die comfortably. He had tons of excess secretions and now was starting to have difficulty breathing. She was using subcutaneous medication that she was giving to him in his abdomen and his you know, wherever she could give it to help with the secretions and to help with that feeling of shortness of breath. But he still seemed very uncomfortable and she was just at her wits end day after day we were doing this. <sighs> and I just felt for them so hard. And I would get them, get them continuous care, which means 24 hour nurse for a little bit. And then his symptoms would get better and then they would take the nurse out and then they would get worse again. And every time I started having to fight harder and harder to keep this nurse in there so he could die peacefully. Uh, it makes me want to cry every time because no one deserves to die like this. And um, the fact that I had to fight to keep the nurse in there. Uh, it's not really our company's fault. It's because of Medicare. Um, you know, it's just this we had to go through all of this red tape. Anyway, they were, they were not going to allow me to have another continuous care nurse come because he didn't have enough symptoms. And I can remember being outside of the house and screaming because I just had enough. And I screamed at my boss, you are not here. I am here. I am telling you, we need this and we need it now. And I started sobbing. I could sob right now because I was just so, the amount of suffering that was going on. And the fact that this company was trying to tell me no was like, oh, um, not today, <laughs> not today. Anyway, he got the nurse and he did die peacefully eventually, but it was hard and I love them.